graphs and how to determine the portion size using percent. So you can see here that we had a survey of 50 children and all of their answers are incorporated into this pie graph. The pie graph is split into three portions. 45% uh, of the children voted for dogs, 20% of the children voted for cats, and 35% of the children voted for fish. Generally, when you're answering questions like this, you should break it up into three steps. So step one is to make sure that all of the percentages add up to 100%. So if we just eyeball this, 35% plus 20%, that's 55%, plus 45, those three add up to 100%, so we're okay. Step two, look carefully at the information we have. Well, we know that we asked 50 children, so that makes up 100%. And we also know that a circle is 360 degrees. So that means that 100% is 360 degrees. All right. So we also know that 50 children will equal 360 degrees because we know that 50 children made up 100% of our votes. So now we have to move to, to step three and we have to choose one of the percentages and we have to calculate the number of degrees because we are trying to work out how big these portions should be in terms of how many degrees uh, of the circle. All right, so let's just take an easy one here and we'll take 20%. So 20% is basically 20 over 100 and we multiply that by 360 because we're trying to work out how many degrees this portion uh, of the pie graph will be. So now we just multiply it across and that's going to be 7,200. And you know that 20 times 360 is 7,200 and 100 times 100 times 1 is going to be 100. So this 7,200 divided by 100 is going to give us 72 degrees. That means that the cat's portion is 72 degrees from here to here. All right, now I'd like you to work out the dog's portion and uh, check your work against mine. So pause the video and then uh, come back and check to see if you got what I got. Okay, so pause the video and give it a try. Okay, so 45% is the same thing as 45 over 100 and we multiply that again by 360 over 1 okay and you will see that that is um, that's uh, 16,200 over 100 and again we take this number and we divide it by the, the denominator so that gives us 162 degrees. So if that's what you got, well done. If it's not, go back and check your work and check it against what I've done here. All right. Now, uh, to work out fish, we don't really need to uh, do any of this to work out fish. If you got that correct and you understand this, then all we really need to do is to take this 162 degrees add it to the 72 degrees all right and we'll get our answer so we'll just add up the units that's four and 70 plus 60 is 130 so that's 234 degrees so that means that um, cats plus dogs here is 234 degrees so if we were to Hold on, I'll just change the color of the pen. If we were to go all the way from here, all the way around, that's going to be 234 degrees. All right? And we know that the dogs is 162 degrees. All right? So all we need to do is go 360 degrees, subtract this 234 degrees, will equal, what will that be, uh, 126 degrees. Okay, so that means that fish, change my pen again, 
that means that fish will be 126 degrees. Okay, and I'll put 72 in there just so we don't get confused. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.